All right, welcome back, everybody. Well, today's going to be uh, going back to early, early Stones era. Um, this is going to be As Tears Go By, which is a uh, acoustic-based song um, that uh, Jagger and Richards wrote. And it seemed to be for a little while there that, you know, Beatles and Stones were sort of trading places who's at the top of the charts when it came to sort of British invasion, British rock, pop rock for a few years there. And, you know, Beatles put out Yesterday and 65. And then I think that was sort of the template for them to come out with an acoustic ballad like this and score it with strings, you know. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. Um, on an acoustic 12 string and um, there's really not a whole lot that's fancy on here but there's some interesting picking going on and anyway I'm going to cover the chords of this song and some of the tricks that Keith Richards is playing on um, that sort of define the unique sound that you hear on the record. So if this is the kind of thing that you like and you haven't done so already please jump down and click subscribe and ring the bell. The bell will let you know when I drop new content which I do every single week all my lessons have chapters in them, so you can jump right to the part of the lesson that you want to see and bypass what you don't. And if you're looking for other ways to support the channel, I appreciate that. There's thanks, which is just like throwing a tip in the tip jar. It's a button below. Or you can join my Patreon page where I've got chord charts and tabs for all the lessons like this that I do on YouTube. Uh, links in the description. Check it out. Okay, so as tears go by, so... If you got an acoustic 12-string guitar, um, let's break it out. <laughs> and even if you don't, that's fine. Um, it'll sound great on an acoustic 6. It'll sound great on an electric 12 and an electric 6. It's fine. It's a great song. But let's, let's go with uh, acoustic 12 here for the lesson, since that's what we hear on the record. Okay? So the chords on this song are very easy. I'm just going to start by laying out the chords. Um, and then we'll talk about the nuances of how Keith is picking them, right? Um, so it's first chord is G. And I can't tell if he's using that G or this with the open B. I sort of don't hear that B, but either way, it's fine. I'm going to go with that. And A. C and D. All right, that's the verses, the intro and the verses. Then the sort of second part of the verse jumps back to C. D. And then you're going to do this G down to E minor, which is you're going to you're going to move from your G, you're going to pick up on the F sharp on the second fret and transition that down to your E minor. All right, and then C to D. I sit and watch as tears go by. And I think that's all the chords in the song, right? But it's just how he picks them, okay? So let's go through each sort of part. Um, the intro. Um, so the intro is he's going to start, um, while the first chord is a G, he's going to pick the F sharp. He's going to pick that note on the second fret first, and then go to your G. Right? So he jumps. I may get a string or two wrong here, but um, I want to give you the vibe for sure. So the critical part is he's hitting that D. He's jumping to the second string and sort of picking back. And then we're going to go to our A. And I like to bar my A with my finger. Because we're not really playing that. We're not doing a full. We're not doing a full chord. C, and then he does this clever little on the, this little part on the uh, major third of the C, which is on which is on the D string here up to your E note, right? So those together.
those little hammers. It's very cool. Picks those. And then hammers on the G. And then you're into your verse. And he just sort of does picking similar to that all the way through the verses. Um, it's not one that, you know, you have to like exactly get sixth string, then second string, then third string, then fourth string, then six. It's not, don't, don't be so precious with it, but that's the sort of vibe you want. Pick the bass note and then start picking some of the notes up here on the sort of middle strings. Goes around again. Back to C. Just take some liberties with there with your or That's a, that's a transition that he does pretty much every time, right? So let's do that G down to E minor. So that was E, your second fret D string, and then your open G string, and your open D, the open G, to your C, right? Because then we're moving to our C chord. Or sometimes he goes, I think he does that. And the strings come in and backfill, right? But that's the sort of picking pattern. He's just, you're, you're being a little loose with it. You're establishing the chord by usually picking the bass note, the, the foundation of the chord. And then you're just playing with some of the strings that are in the chord um, higher up. Not, not a lot on that first string happening. That's basically it, right? But very beautiful. And the sound effect that Keith gets on that is uh, is very interesting too. Um, I think they sort of played with, uh, you know, some kind of chorusing or double tracking or something that's playing with the pitch a little bit. It's like a vibrato um, in some ways. But um, let's see if I can replicate that on the post effect here. So I'm not going to hear it as I'm playing, but... If this makes it to the final mix, then it means that I've found something that sounds somewhat like what you're hearing on the record. So let me give it a go. violins so okay that's really it this is a super pretty song i know marianne faithful probably i think she recorded it first maybe before they did um but i just know the stones version and like the stones version 
And if you clicked on this video, because it's because you do too. But that's how you play it on a 12. All right. Hope you learned something new today. That was As Tears Go By by the Rolling Stones. Um, if this is the kind of thing that you like and you haven't done so yet, I invite you to click subscribe and ring the bell. Bell will let you know when I drop new content, which I do every single week. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this. And if there's another song you want me to take on and do a lesson similar, um, let me know what that is. And until next week, take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.